So do you wanna take control of how your post looks when you post a link to your website on social media? On well, today's video, we're gonna show you how you can add social metadata to your website so that your links look the way that you want them to when posting social media, and we're gonna be doing it on WordPress using all-in-one SEO. So let's get started. Okay, so if you logged into your WordPress website and you've searched for and installed the all-in-one SEO pack, which you can find under plugins and add new, uh, once it's installed, you're gonna find a section in your menu, menu down here under settings called all-in-one SEO. And when you hover over that, head to social networks. And this is where you can get started. Before I even get ahead here, uh, if all you needed to know was that bit of information, you could almost guess the rest of this yourself. But we're gonna get started uh, by going through these tabs and just having a look. So social profiles, this is just uh, so that WordPress has something to reference. You can add in links to your social profiles here. And if you're not sure where to get your URL from, uh, one thing you can do is if I say switch to, say I want to get my Facebook page URL and pop it here, all I need to do is visit my Facebook page. And all I need to do, once I'm on my Facebook page here, on my Facebook my business page, is go up the top here and click to highlight my URL and click copy. Now I head back to WordPress, I can right click and paste that URL in here. Be certain to include the HTTPS portion of that. Um, if you don't see that there, all you need to do is add the HTTPS colon double slash before the social network to get that in there. And you can then go ahead and add that for all of your profiles. So we'll just skip ahead and do that. And so now I've added in all the addresses to my social media profiles and I'm gonna save changes. And that way it now has something you can reference when referring to some of the networks on our social metadata. So now we're gonna scroll up and we're gonna to head to the Facebook tab to set up our Facebook uh, metadata. So all I need to do is click this little slider to get all the options for Facebook. And you see here the default post image source. So when you're actually sharing a post on uh, Facebook, you sort of get something like this. I have this image prepared earlier. It's gonna pick, if you have a blog post, it's gonna pick the featured image as the main image to share pretty much in where this preview is here. What I'm gonna do is show you, you can also add in other areas, like you can actually create a custom field or you can post the author image or the first image in the content and actually do it that way if you want to. I think you can even uh, an attached image. So you've got a few options there for featured image or you can just simply choose the default image and set it below. I'm gonna set that to featured image because that means you can easily set up a default image, uh, well not a default image, an image for each post you actually create. Now the default post Facebook image is one that it'll choose if you doesn't have an image to draw on. So I'm gonna go here to upload or select image. And you can create an image uh, roughly, uh, I'm not sure on the sizes. So that minimum size is 200 by 200, but it recommends this aspect ratio of 1.91 to one. So 1640 by 856 pixels is a good size to work with if you want to create an image. So once again, I go to upload. I can upload a file here like I normally do through the uploader. I'll scroll down and find this image I've created here, which is not necessarily the exact size, but now it has a default image to show on Facebook when it shares, when I share a link from this website. And uh, if I have an actual post image here, it'll show my featured image instead. So the default term image source is actually something a little bit different, more for pro users. Uh, you have to worry about that so much. You can set post type. So if you actually, uh, depending on what you put on there, you can set this for each individual post. Um, but if you're someone who, may, if you're a directory or you're listing a sport type, you can choose a sport. So there's different things there. If you're using a, a blog, article is probably going to be the safest. Mm -hmm. um, if, you talk, if it's a movie, uh, you know that sort of thing. It's a little bit. Most of these are going to be articles. Probably going to be the safe, safest way to go. But check this out to see if anything better fits the type of content on your WordPress site to match up. And you can also show Facebook author and say yes. So that way it actually shows who the author is sort of linked up to your content. And um, this used to be a, there used to be a feature on Google where if you searched up a post, it would show the author and a link to their social medias. It, they have removed that, but I believe there's something similar going on here with that. So it's always handy just to have yes and link that up to your social media. And of course, you can change how your website's name is displayed on social media. So web design in Maribor, Queensland. Um, I can just say Wade Master or something like that. But this is just a little, it's like a little satellite. It's like a little side I do 
to uh, hit local traffic for my web design business. So putting that there kind of works. Now my homepage settings, it has drawn on the default image here and you can see what it's gonna look like when I share this on Facebook. And if you have an app, you can add that as well. Not too concerned about that right now. Um, those are just advanced settings and uh, something you can add if you want a little more control. But for now, we'll stick with this. We'll save these changes and let's just switch and add this to Facebook to see if it looks the way we want it to. Okay, so I'm just gonna create a post here on Facebook. I'm gonna say, this is my website, paste. And now you can see that the image is shown up there. And this is basically the sort of effect you want when doing any of this stuff uh, for your website to display on social media. But moving on. All right, so we're gonna move on now to the Twitter tab and click that. And of course, as before, we wanna enable the Twitter card and you can choose what it is you want. You can have a summary, which is purely just text, or a summary with a large image, which is what I recommend because images will stand out more and catch more attention. Again, you can set your featured image as the, def as the uh, source, and then you can also uh, select an image like we did before on Facebook. And now we have an image set as a default image when we share on Twitter. And a lot of the same things, we're gonna show the Twitter author, additional data, this is what tw additional Twitter data on your posts and pages. Um, I would say enabled, so people know how long things take to read if they want to know that information, couldn't hurt. And you can see again, a preview of how it looks on Twitter and pretty straightforward, much like Facebook, you sort of get the idea. We're gonna save those changes. And then we're going to move on to Pinterest. Now, this one is a little bit different because of Pinterest, you actually want to add a Pinterest verification code. So you will need to set that up in your account uh, when you actually claim your website. So uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut over to Pinterest and have a quick look. Okay, so I'm on my Twitter profile here and what I'm gonna do is head up the top here, down and go to my settings. So settings here. And you'll see here under website, I've got webdesignmaribar.com.au. What I'm actually gonna do now is I'm gonna go over to claim on the left here and I can claim a website. So I'm going to hit claim and you see I've got some options here. Now, what I wanna do is actually in this, I want to, where it says add HTML tag, I'm actually going to click copy there and continue. And enter the website URL on the button and click the button to verify. So before I click this, I'm gonna go back to all-in-one SEO I'm going to right click, I'm going to paste, but I'm actually going to either side of these commas here. Oh wait, the previous verification code. We copied that code in there. I thought for a second there, we're just going to keep that, but we're going to keep the whole code in there and we're going to save changes. And now we're going to tab back to Pinterest, add in our website, and then we're going to click verify. And you can see we're now connected and it's actually all installed and ready to go. You can also add this to your Google Tag Manager, go into that another time, but that's essentially how you get your Pinterest connected up using all-in-one SEO so that anything that gets shared from your website will actually link back to your website even if someone else shares it. And um, that's pretty much it for that one. Now, next thing we're actually gonna do very quickly is we're gonna go into our posts section here on the left. And we're gonna look at, open up our blog posts and just take a look at the individual settings. So I've got a blog post here. And if I scroll down right to the bottom, there is an all-in-one SEO section. And you'll see here, under all-in-one SEO settings, there is a social tab. And I can actually go in here, and much like before, I can give it a title for Facebook, a description for Facebook, and even add in the image source, which I can, same as before, video URL. You get a few more options to make this more individual. So uh, it's pretty much the same as before. Uh, if there's a video link, you can do that, but the image source is an attached image uh, or featured image. Uh, you can add those in pretty easily. So uh, you can also go through other, a few other settings here, schema type, that kind of thing. But uh, you also have your Twitter options as well. So you can actually customize this to the individual post as well. So uh, that's just a little extra bit of information if you want something a little different on a certain post, something different than just the formula. 
but um, yeah hopefully that helps and uh, that's pretty much it that's it's a powerful but quick and easy thing to set up so I highly recommend going ahead and doing that um, because it's very easy with only one SEO and uh, very powerful so uh, otherwise thanks for watching the video if you did uh, like it please consider giving it a like and also if you want more videos like this consider subscribing and I hope to see you again soon have a great day